Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben Ryder. Today we're testing out, once again, you can watch my other video right here. Um, I tested another, um, another color. I, I'm testing different colors now <laughs> to see if they're different. Um, the uh, Sim Maxim TL, TL 500. So it has 465 cubic centimeters. It has a power of 40 horsepower and uh, it is a two cylinder engine and um, what else can I say the seat height for me always important is 795 um, you know you sit a little bit wider on it you know it's a wide seat so it might feel higher than it actually sounds uh, there are a few distinct uh, differences on this scooter because it's more uh, in the direction goes more in the direction of a sport sporty scooter and therefore we have this uh, suspension in the rear which you can see here and while we're here in the rear you can actually see that it does have a chain so apparently it it uh, transmits the power better to the tire to the wheel um, what else oh and also we have a side stand and we have a center stand the side stand doubles as a parking brake. Yeah, believe it or not. Some scooters actually have that and this one does. When you just pull it out, then the rear wheel will lock. We have two disc brakes in the front. It has very good braking power. We have one huge disc brake in the rear. We have a regular, well, of course, since this is a regular uh, it's, it doesn't have any options on it installed, so it's the stock exhaust. It's kind of a rumbling sound, uh, kind of angry sound, I always say. Uh, yeah, kind of an angry sound. I will uh, show you all the details on uh, of the scooter now. So on the left-hand side of the uh, handlebar, we have the high beam and low beam. It's uh, kind of a toggle. No, it's not a toggle. Yeah, it's a, it's a push push lever or how do you call this push switch and then we have the uh, uh, we have the turn signal light we have the horn and we have a passing button here on this side there so you can tell people that you're passing um, and we have the uh, button for the uh, display. I will explain to you a little bit later. You can uh, to switch different uh, displays here and you can like enter this with a button here. Uh, on the right hand side of the, dis uh, of the handlebars, we have uh, just as normal the kill switch and we have the um, uh, hazard light switch and we have the starter uh, and down here where is it? Here we have the um, fuel tank you can open here. I think it uh, actually fits 13.5 liters. Um, we can open the seat from here. 
and we can lock it of course we can lock the steering so let's check out the display so on the left hand side of the display you see all the all the warning lights you know oil for oil abs and stuff like that um in the middle there's a main display which you can switch with the button that i just showed you you have different uh different themes you can switch if you push the button in the middle a little bit longer then i think you can select from three different scenes uh schemes <laughs> and then you can display that some different information about this maximum rpm and blah 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 quite interesting for the people who are interested in that on the right hand side we have we always show the speed which is good we have the fuel uh remaining fuel we have the total and you can switch that with a button here is i think that's a reset button and then we have we can switch to trip we can switch and see when the oil was changed the last time i think and we have uh, the burr. oh we have 12.2 volts and we have the total actually the oil was changed 236 kilometers ago so they actually made an oil change at 1000 kilometer that's really cool because i always think that they don't really main maintain their bikes you know the one for the test rides but apparently kawasaki does i got this here for this sim from kawasaki by the way <laughs> um yeah so this is the display and i'll show you the cubby holds here for your convenience on the left hand side we have a very small cubby hole maybe three or four snickers bars can fit in there on the right hand side you have a little bit more room um yeah uh, you can put your phone in there and there's a usb socket on the side for charging now you can open the seat here you just press this button and then it opens like this so this is the seat um, one large full-faced helmet can fit in there uh, maybe two small jet helmets will actually fit in there because it's very deep but it's yeah it's also kind of wide but uh, unfortunately not very long so you cannot really put two full-faced helmets in there you have a courtesy light there at the rear and that's about it for the seat yes uh, that's uh, basically all i can tell you um what oh the the what, the weight is 211 i don't know wet or, or dry because they don't say on the website they also don't mention the power but i told you it's 40 horsepower power i got it from some other site uh what else the seat height is 795 millimeters um yeah that's about it. I cannot tell you the, the torque, the Newton meter, because I couldn't find it anywhere. Not on the SIM website, nor anybody, anywhere else. Anyways, we will take this now back to the dealer and do our test ride from the front. It looks pretty nice with the daytime running lights. And let's look at the rear. It also looks pretty cool from the rear with these kind of 3D-ish looking uh, with a 3D-ish looking tail light. There we go. And that's about it. I will go back to the dealer now. First I will do the sound check and then we'll go back to the dealer.
Yes, uh, this is the Sim Maxim TL 500-465cc and we're going back to the dealer now. Okay, start it up. Okay, and as I said, I will try to do the 0 to 100. I don't know if I can. So it, traffic permitting, of course. So, uh, let's go. Oh, yeah. Has a lot of grunt. A lot of power. Probably a lot of torque, but I cannot find the torque value anywhere. I couldn't find it on the website from Sim. Uh, maybe I have to check the uh, instruction manual. They also put it up. Maybe they put it in there. Stopping power very, very strong. It got two, two uh, disc brakes in the front, one in the rear, one really big one in the rear. I have to add. Yeah, after a while when you get used to it, you know, then you feel more comfortable riding with this. So, oh, the fuel per, the kilometers per liter shows on the left hand side with this display. Okay. This guy really smells and pollutes the air like crazy. I don't know why these old 50ccs are still in use. I don't understand it. Yeah, it's uh, quite a agile, actually. Always like to use this word, <laughs> but it is true. It's quite agile. It weighs, as I said, 211. I don't know, plus minus fuel. They don't say. But uh, as I said, it's a good. Uh, uh, package for this price for the for the uh, power that you get unfortunately you do not have traction control with this uh, much power this is very unfortunate because with 40 horsepower you should have traction control and uh, you feel much safer so let's see if we can do this 0 to 100 here Let's go there. Let's see if I'm recording actually. Yep, recording. 0 to 100 coming up. Oh, there's a truck. But I guess we'll be faster at 0. Uh, at Not 0, at 100. Okay. 1, 2, 3. That was pretty quick, I think, no? Tell me what you think in the comments down below. It's a pretty nice performer, I'd say. Pretty nice performer. Um, the seat 
is kind of hard. The seat is kind of hard. It has a nice backrest. I mean, not backrest, but lumbar support. Um, so for the short run, it's definitely acceptable. I don't know how it is in the long run or on the long run. Um, I have no idea. Uh, but it definitely, you know, you can definitely use it for longer trips. I don't know about the seat, as I said, but it has enough power. It's very sporty. The windscreen isn't too bad, although you would have to adjust it up one notch, maybe. I think you can adjust it in two positions. You should adjust it up. My, I am 175. And um, my, the, the basically the wind hits me on the helmet, so presses my helmet down. Um, maybe if you kind of duck down, it will be better. I don't know. So, kind of windy today. Definitely a nice performer if you're looking for a fairly inexpensive package for, for the power that you get. Um, the mirrors are quite nice. They are kind of wide angle, so uh, I mean you don't see everything naturally, but you can see quite a lot. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Quite easily adjustable as well. Um, the display is uh, easily readable. I don't know what you can see with the GoPro, but uh, if there's anything that flickers, it does not flicker in real life. It's just because of the frequency. Um, yeah, fairly easily readable. Um, but as I said, it's lacking Bluetooth connectivity, so you cannot uh, do any GPS or navigation or, or just add some home screens or whatever you like like what you can do with the Kimco Nadu or whatever Nudu system you cannot do this here and I think for this price yeah maybe they should have actually impl implemented that what else um, yeah uh, you have enough leg room actually I, I didn't really notice it but usually I don't notice when I, when something is not bad <laughs> Uh, so yeah you have quite a lot of leg room you can actually put it to the front here oh you have a lot of leg room it feels like you're sitting on a chopper or yeah whatever you call them chopper yeah <laughs> uh, it's quite nice yeah quite comfy and probably for the pillion as well but as i said for the um for the um for, for the storage space under the seat as you saw already in my video it's kind of limited yeah um, all in all as i said a pretty good package for this price in spain it costs 7500 at the moment with special promotion uh, i think everything included already you know like registration and stuff and usually it costs 8000 here in spain so yeah i would definitely consider it if i wanted 40 horsepower and can only pay like eight thousand or seven and a half thousand uh, euro so we have to go to kawasaki uh, uh, by the way i did not get this from sim uh, there's my kawasaki dealer who has the sim in stock as well so that's why he let me test ride this and uh, yeah thanks very much to kawasaki palmetto here in malaga for letting me have the, this um, scooter for test ride and showing it to the world yeah you cannot unfortunately like with a honda forza even with a honda forza 125 <laughs> you can adjust the windscreen uh, electronically you know with a button yeah you cannot do this <clears throat> but of course maybe that's where the prices come from you know that they're a little bit lower than with the other brands yeah 
yeah, putting the feet up there, it's really comfortable. Usually you cannot really do this with a scooter because there's a fairing in the front. You can only just slightly go like this, but here it's pretty nice. Actually, I start to like it more and more, actually. <laughs> There's a lot of traffic coming our way here. Yeah, we're almost ready with our test ride, finished with our test ride. And uh, yeah, by, from the uh, power, I'm definitely, um, I'm definitely um, positively, uh, how do you say? Uh, I keep forgetting all my English words already. Positively surprised with the power, pretty nice, pretty nice power. Um, yeah, that's all I can tell you to the Maxim Sim Maxim TL sporty little thing. So we're back at the dealer. If you have any more questions, please let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, thanks very much for watching. This is Ben. I ride out. Take care. Bye bye.